New year, I'm about broke, so it's on to the next. Do my own thing, I ain't even try to flex. But they can't fuck with Randy, and they really got them vexed. Living through the. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Nah, we're not do not call we back, him. We Don't back, call we him. Back, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. He's like, I actually want to go to sleep tonight. Absolutely. We'll do that. We'll do that. Bro, I took a nap. I took a nap for two hours, bro. I brought food and I didn't even eat it. I took a nap for two hours and eat my food. Nah, yeah, because he was talking. Because teammate had told me future, fucking Drake. Uh, I'm not get. We not getting into that. It's not a rap podcast, bro. We we like rap. Yeah, it's not a rap yeah, podcast. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I do that enough <laughs> on uh, fucking best poop show. Shout out to my brother best. Uh, we do that enough there, bro. I'm not getting into the future. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> the only nigga that could be Jay Z. In his age range, that's alive, is in prison, and his nigga name is Robert Kelly. <laughs> like, that's about <laughs> it, man. That's it, man. Robert. <laughs> Robert. And that, nigga, and that nigga can't beat the state of Illinois, so. <laughs> Let alone Jay Z. Let alone, oh, ain't time for that nigga to be thinking about nothing. <laughs> so one thing that nigga's be nowadays. <laughs> that Fifi. Pamela, formula. Damn. He probably got the little hole in his back. So, nah, yeah. he probably got female CEOs in there that's like, Mr. Kelly. Hell oh, yeah. But oh, they like, man. but ain't no young CEOs in there. Mm. <laughs> that's what he did. Come on, it's too bad. That's what he did. If he was on the island, if Yo, he was bro, on Rikers, see? Yeah. if he'd have been lit on Rikers, he'd have been in there. Top. Whole bunch of young bitches today. Hey man, I be hearing stories on the aisle. They be taking them drinks now, man. Yo, bro, you've seen the documentary. Not the off off track, but it's just one quote from his brother. Interview his brother. It said, "Blew, blew my mind." He like. Oh, he's about surviving R. Kelly. Yeah, he like he like Robert. He just like he just like the younger ladies. Like you know me myself, I like the older ladies. That's my preference. That was his preference. I'm like, what is this nigga talking about? Nah, but you know, nah, both of them, they was both, both, him and his brother, was, he, as fucked up as they are, they both of them was uh, sexually assaulted at a young age, too. So, yeah, I know he you said know, that. But, yeah, you know, Randy, you know, know. social. You're not going to laugh at that, yeah. The abuse usually become the abusers at most, most, more often than not, so that's kind of fucked up. That's um, a fact, yeah, bro. He's talking about not albums, though. Not a joke that you got to listen to. We had that little whole pre-mix before the show, but you can't play it on here because we're not getting copyrighted. That is not happening. Um... Okay. Randy got some music he want to get into before before the year is over. Yo, Randy, I know you like you like the, you like the, that you know that that drink when people be kicking that shit over them smooth ass beats, and I know you fuck with Alchemist. Oh uh, yeah. You might want to listen to that Bo Jackson by Bodie James. Bodie James kicking that shit. Yeah, I know. I seen you post. I'm gonna tune into that. I fuck with Alchemist heavy too. Mm-hmm. Bodie James, he from Detroit, but you know how everybody peasy and them be doing that, like what they do over there, the, the Trudy Drake sound. Yeah, Boy, yeah. Know, he be kicking that shit. He be rapping, rapping like on some East Coast shit. That's the nigga that dressed like a pimp, but nah. Nah, it depends. Kind of, sort of, but you, I don't know if you talk about him or payroll because him and payroll both be like on that. But, excuse me. Cool shit. So I don't know if you. Nah, I'm gonna tune into. I'm gonna tune into my son. I'm gonna tune into. Yeah, um, <laughs> what we got? What we got going on? What, 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 what top, I think we covered all of the topics that we had. I think so too. Let me double check. <laughs> Let's see what we got here in the poker deck. So I think we covered this topic. Yo, I'm thinking about starting like a history, like little vlog. You should. Ten you minutes. Know a lot of shit, man. Yeah, because my son James. Music, at, music as a whole, not even, not even on some just rap shit, because you really like into. I love like, music. Yeah, music. Yeah. Like you listen to Kurt, you listen to Nirvana, but you listen to to. Fucking uh, Beethoven too. So like, yeah, a nigga like Mozart, you can definitely Mozart, and then John Coltrane, and, you know, like, you know, like you know how they you be having a uh, like, um, what you call like Samuel L. Jackson reading books to people. I think you should get like <laughs> the Randy Sav breakdown of Tolkien books. Of Tolkien, oh yeah, like the Silmarillion. I should do mm-hmm. first. I love Silmarillion. But you should break it down like how a nigga from Brooklyn to break it down. I'm like, all right, this nigga, this is the God nigga. He made them sing a song. This nigga Melko came. He wasn't, he wasn't jacking it. Type shit, you feel me? That that shit is like the Bible. You ever read this in Maria? That's a great nah, book, bro. bro I, I'm going to sure. review it. What I've been thinking bro, is. Read that book, bro. So what's y'all goal? Before we get out of here, what's some of y'all goals for 2022? Because I want to hear y'all and I'll take it mine. Goals of 2022. What I will do. Not what I want to do. What I will do. Mm-hmm. Get a new V. 
to me. I got my new apartment, thank God. I'm in the fact that I'm in it now. That's why it looks blank. But next year, but next week is gonna look fire with my setups. Another another goal that I will do, 2022. I'm gonna drop at least five music videos. It's gonna be way more, but I'm gonna just say five. 2022, at least five music Next videos. Set, for the whole project year. coming? Full length project? Yeah. EP, full length project? Yeah, but I'm not gonna do a project yet. I wanna, I'm gonna just do singles because I heard Russ saying some shit and it made a lot of sense to me. He said, instead of focusing on the albums, he did just the songs, like drop mad singles consistently. Like, you feel me? When, you, when they can see an album so constantly, they don't wanna dive into that. They don't know you really, they don't wanna waste that. Single. You feel me? They're like, all right, let me chop the single real fast. Because I know my shit is valid, my shit is heat. So niggas tune in, thing, 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 100 times. All right, let me drop a little EP. For me, niggas gonna play that too, and I got the ability to make a whole album, make it flow. Like I'm, I'm and excited to do that, bro. Singles and the singles, the world you can put them on the album and then come up with the rest of the album. Bro, I got three albums saved already, bro. I just don't wanna like just because right, I know yeah, my no, niggas. No, no. It right. makes sense. It makes sense. And when we get off, we gonna talk about how you gonna drop them hits, but yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna, I just wanna drop them. That's what I'm doing right now. Like you feel me? I dropped quick, quick flex like four weeks ago. You feel me? I'm just trying to let that. You feel me? Build up. I got other three songs. I'm not going to say the titles yet. I got them. I'm going to release that. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to shoot the videos for that. That's why I said I'm going to shoot at least five videos because I got the ones in mind already. Mm-hmm. I'm going to manifest that like I've been doing. Like, everything I wanted, I've been manifesting. I've been seeing it. So mm-hmm. I'm going to do, that's another goal, at least five videos. And I want to link another goal. I'm going to link with my bros more. Link with True more, my son T-Maney, my son mm-hmm. Tick, Coney, whole GSO more. That's it. You feel me? That's right. That's, that's, it, that's my one goal. of my goals too, because again, like I was watching. Um, Damn, we lost that. We lost that. I was watching um, what you might call it? How the fuck we lost that? I was watching uh the Ghostface Killer interview with on Drink Champs. And yeah. Ghostface was saying um. When he did that. It was him and Raekwon was like I think it was like a month ago. It was right after. Uh-huh. It was before Kanye and <coughs> he was saying that um. What the fuck, dog? He was saying, oh, shit, I can't say this nigga number on here. Let me turn this shit. I might have to cover that when I edit. I don't see it. Oh, yours shows it? Yeah. What the fuck, though? So what he was saying on there was that um, his, like, uh, face, not face, uh, RZA, Raekwon, Method Man, they got kids. And he feel a way like, I don't know my kids. Like, I don't know my, these are my brothers. I, these, I call them my family. And our kids don't know each other like that. Feel me? So that's definitely yeah. when you said like linking up because we got. Oh yeah, because niggas kids. grow apart and it's not their family. Not yeah, yeah, I don't like it's that. It's not that they didn't grow. It's not that he's saying they didn't grow apart. Like they became so important in their worlds that the world that's that what they, I mean. they was in collectively is like it, it kind of went separate ways. And he like he he misses niggas. You feel me? What I'm saying we get so caught up, bro. We get mm-hmm. so caught up on your little short short term goals and shit. But you gotta make time for your bros and niggas you love, bro. Exactly. Not even on some everybody not even on some cool shit. Oh my bro, nah, you nigga, you feel me, y'all niggas that y'all, y'all my niggas. We gotta bond. I love y'all niggas. Like you feel me? You gotta mm-hmm. feel me same with your mom, your your cousins, whatever. You gotta make sure you spend time with the niggas. It's good okay. for your soul. Make sure they know that they matter. Absolutely. And mama love moving to California, so I was thinking about oh, going to California. Yeah. So I'm like, like, my mom says she's going out there. I'm like, nah, I can't. I, nigga, I gotta be close enough to see my mom's nigga. Like, I ain't trying to just be taking a flight all the time. I love to take a quick drive. So, but um, for me, it was that, and then um, also, what I I want to get away from putting some of my personal, like just some of the thoughts I have on social media. I want to make it strictly business. Like, yeah, I do the laughing yeah, joke shit, smart. but a lot of the thoughts that I really do have, I'm gonna probably just start writing in a journal or something. Treat it like a yeah, memoir or some that. shit like that, or like yeah. talking to make get like a a, a, a a big ass hard drive and just spend time by myself, just talking into the motherfucker. I might play some music in the background. I might not. Who knows? Because I like my vinyls and stuff. But just talking to the mic about my thoughts, and then That's just edit that one day. And then when I'm gone, it's just like that. It's there for people to go to to see what my thoughts was at certain parts of my life instead of selling the world. And then people get feeling like they got the input to say shit, and it's like. I respect your input, but my nigga, it's just, I'm not trying to hear that shit right now. Yeah. So, and also, growing Jungle Report against growing uh, the Best Hoop Show, Grand Season TV, and the Grand Count, <coughs> which Big Sit and Randy Savage, if you ever want to, you could be a, you could be a guest host on the Grand Countdown. You already know that. Uh, 
Oh yeah. So soon. Do that. When I get my mic in this crib, I'm I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna pull up on that shit. No funny shit. Nah, for sure. And then moving to California, that's probably the biggest thing for me. It's not even a goal. It's reality at this point. So. Amen. God bless, bro. I know you're gonna do good already. Feel me? But God bless. Los dot G, man. But that's all I got, man. Uh, happy New Year to all of y'all. <coughs> Thank all of y'all that supported the Jungle Report throughout the year. Even with some of our, you know, real life shit be happening. So we wasn't able to give y'all all the content we wanted to give y'all. But from now on, y'all will see us every, thir- what, this is what, Wednesday? Thursday, Thursday. Friday, y'all every Friday, Friday we dropping them. Y'all see every us every Friday, Friday we dropping them. Dropping, so shout out to y'all. We definitely shout out to my brother, E. Banger, Jiggy Ora. Shout out to Jiggy Ora. I want more Jiggy Ora merch in 2022. Niggas know the vibes, man. Mm-hmm. That hoodie he put out, fire. You have got one too in the closet. Go follow, go follow Jiggy Aura on all Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Go follow. Get up! I ain't gonna lie, them shit just going fast, but my son fast. pulled up to the hood the other day, bro. Nigga, gone. Nigga, nigga can't even place orders no more, bro. I gotta hurry up, bro. Mm-hmm. No, we about to get the fuck out of here. It's the Jungle Report podcast with Randy Sav, It's Wolves, and our brother who happens to be disconnected. Dot G. Dot G. So see that niggas Friday. You heard? So, it's not that I was trying to fight Troy Yav, you feel me? I told Troy Yav how he was dissing Cashin over and saying all that shit about a man locked up that can't defend himself with some sucker shit, right? So, you know, I throw the little videos of me boxing up here and there, you know? Free tap stone, free tap stone. Like, like, you know, because I, I go, I work out, but I, I throw the box. Fuck with, since Randy and P, you know, Randy and Prince, shout out to my nigga Prince. I... They got me on the boxing wave, so when we work out, we always end doing, you know, a couple rounds of just sparring, you know, punching a heavy bag, something all in between workout, you feel me? So, they got the aqua bag at Blink. Shout out to Blink Fitness. This is not an advertisement, but if y'all want to pay us, please do. So, you know, go to we, need sponsors. <laughs> we need sponsors, for sure. I go in there, you know, and, and Randy, you know, the aqua bag, it, feel, it feels better on your hands than the, the heavy bag. I love the water. aqua bag. It's so aesthetic. <clears throat> And that when you hit that sh- motherfucker, you really hear that shit like, oh, yeah, it's yeah. pop, nigga. So, like, it feel like you're punching a turkey, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel great, bro. So, it's like... <laughs> it, it Who the fuck like you punching, punching turkeys, turkeys, my nigga? But, um... <laughs> you never so, punched a turkey when you, your mom just had it on the, on the yeah, table? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was one of the niggas that should do that dumb shit, I ain't. Yeah, but, that um, shit feels good. He was saying what he was saying, so I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's some sucker shit. Uh, uh, he said, oh, you were broke. I'm rich and you, you broke. I uh, 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 suck my dick. All right, you rich me. That's cool. But you know what? That sucked my dick shit. I'm like, that's why you don't come to New York, nigga. And you won't but be see, at Rolling Loud. Took him hmm? out. My guy. He's, and I said, that's why you won't be at Rolling Loud. I'm saying, you better watch. Like, I hope you don't. I'm like, pull up to Rolling Loud, bro. He doesn't go to Rolling Loud. I didn't go to Rolling Loud either because some other shit had happened. But um, I'm for the longest, you know, I'm like, yo, let's box, bro. Celebrity boxing. I'll tag celebrity boxing. It's a bag in there, bro. Because I'm like, I can sell a fight. I can sell a fight. I'm going to call that nigga with all kinds of shit, and I'm not going to be cool with the nigga after. I'm going to really propose on the nigga. So, like, instead of us, <laughs> instead of us doing it's like some if shit. That nigga, and if that nigga want to rematch, it's whatever, whenever. Whenever, you yeah. feel me? But get, Tyrone why, Willie, that nigga, bro. Why, just why, put the bag not, up again. Why not get a bag for getting your ass beat? Look, you're going to get paid why more not, than me because you're you the bigger name. You feel me? But why not be relevant? Huh? Yeah, why not be relevant, bro? Like, for me, without Manolo Rose. Exactly. Like, at the end of the day, feel me? I mean... I'm going to have to step in the room with you and do, and, and do what I got to do, but nigga, let's, let's yo, get it right. Yo, bro, it sound, it sound like he know he's going to get fucked up. That's you what scared. I'm saying. Like, I, like yo, but you, you got scared of the videos you see me? Yes, I know I'm a fat nigga, but them, that jab and that cross is swift, nigga. And the body shots. You don't have to fuck with no heavyweight. Feel me? Niggas like, do it. Let's do it. Let's get a bag out of it. Instead of doing some street <laughs> shit. And, <then laughs> niggas do and I'm going to train my boy. You can bro, get your trainer too. So you know Troy I got, got you, good coordination. Me and my son Prince. Prince is going to be in charge of the whole Facts. me, everything. And if and you I'm don't do want to box me, you can do. box Prince. Box Prince if you don't want to box me. Or Prince bo- nah, smoke nah, your Prince, 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 he's still recovering. Yeah. So box Randy. Yeah, Prince, box yeah. Randy side, bro. I will kill Troy Ave. He doesn't want it with me. I will see you. Troy Ave, if you want to box, I will smoke you, bro. You can get the higher person all that. You feel me? I will smoke you. You feel me? I swear to God, bro. Shit like that. You don't want to put the gloves on with me. You can boost style with some Tyson shit. Feel me? I hit him with whatever. You feel me? You don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Smoke his ass. That's what I'm going to do. But that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like I know my, my boxing videos that be on social media that look a little intimidating, but I had some good trainers. They taught me how to throw an effective jab, how to throw that's a nice good. cross. You feel me? When to get the body shots. You feel me? But I'm like, yo, bro. I'm going to start playing more. 
<coughs> I'm gonna start putting more boxing content on, on Instagram and nah, shit. I ain't gonna lie, niggas, gonna be, niggas not gonna wanna box you, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you start posting that shit, Dude. niggas not gonna wanna fight you, bro. But now the, 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 and also again, shout, we talked about James so earlier. You went, you, you was sh- training James actually, you know, again, his, his right. shit more swift, man, shit. But yeah, Troy Ave was sucking, man. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't wanna, he ain't wanna box you, man, bro. <laughs> Duck at me. Bro, we were on the same height. He like five eleven. I'm like I'm like six one on a good day. Six foot, feel me? That's what I'm jacking. I'm five ten now, bro. Can't nobody tell me that I'm five eleven, five ten, you feel me? Facts. It's whatever, feel me. Got a good reach, you feel me? Yeah, I'm Gucci. I know how to get up in there and get out. Mm-hmm. Like you still and sound like my son first told me. You be seeing the Puerto Rican Mike Tyson nigga, bro? <laughs> Nah, who's that? What's his name? It's a nigga named Puerto Rican Mike Tyson, bro, on YouTube. He be going around boxing niggas, you feel me? Shit be dope. I'm like, nah, ready to fuck niggas up in this, bro. <coughs> they be getting it on, though. I'm not doing it if it's not for the bag. Nah, they it. fight for like, the bag. They fight for bread, bro. They fight for bread. It's, uh, it's some bad How much, though? Not no $200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, we ain't fight for no 200 Randy, need, I need my boy Randy to get like 5 10 k you feel me? Yeah, five, minimum. 10, 10 Minimum. Because he, he, he gonna put on the show. I'm saying, bro, I got good sport. I can self fight. I got good showmanship. You feel me? I'm gonna show good technique for all the niggas that love boxing. You get a refund love of my style, oh, and I'm gonna just smoke niggas and put them on the ass. Cause we, 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 this might just be the bonus content of this episode that we like. We didn't even talk about boxing, bro. It's been some great fights this year, bro. Boxing great fights. Thank 2021 has been great for it's been boxing. Good boxing, bro, bro. like people just keep talking about the. I know, I know the, the Tyron Woodley. What was the three favorite yeah. fights this year? After you say that, my fault. My my three favorite. I know Sean Porter lost, but that Sean Porter Porter and Buck Crawford fight was they're fight. really good. Yeah, um, Sean Porter did really good. Yeah. What else? What else? Um, trying to think. Tyson Fury and uh, the Fury and um. Wilder. Wilder fight was a good fight. Great fight, yeah. Um, who, Great what, else fight. Was, what else was there? I don't really see with Tank, with Devin Haney, and with, with Shakur, they usually so dominant in their fights. Yeah. So. It's hard to pick a good fight. I did them. like that Tank fight, though. That was one of my... The last, the, it's the, a cruise, the, the, though. The last fight he fought, this <clears throat> guy, he was a tough fighter, so he made it a yeah. little bit closer than, than what it could have what, what it been. But... I would say that would be my third third favorite fight if I wouldn't go with a Cambosos beating. That's, that's what I was gonna say. Feel me? That's but my first th- two. Those are good fights. Ryan Garcia, stop running your mouth because you don't want to see that boy tank and you don't want to see Devin Haney. Stop it. You don't want to see it's a cruise, nigga. It's a cruise to smoke this. It's a cruise calling him out on Twitter too now. Yeah. Uh, also, you know <coughs> He's what? ducking him too. Uh, the the eight the Anthony Joshua and the Usyk fight was a good fight. Yeah. Even though AJ lost, too. that was a good fight, mm-hmm. bro. Great heavyweight, bro. It's heavyweight good, is coming back, boxing. bro. Matt, and, and, no, you know what I'll put? Back. I'll put, I'll go, instead of not playing, I'll go, instead of, um, what should I call it, the Cambosos, I'm going to go Canelo and, and Billy Joe Saunders. Oh, I was in Cali for that fight. That was a good fight. Like, because Billy Joe Saunders is not a bad, like, Caleb Plant. I love, love Billy a, Joe a, Saunders. A fight, feel me? But Billy, Billy Joe thought he had, he thought he had Canelo. But Canelo, you know how Canelo do? He gonna break you down first with the body. Yeah, boom, he's a boxer. Boom, boom, hit your body for seven, eight rounds, and he gonna make you slip up. He gonna fuck up, and when he caught boy, and he fucked up that eye socket, bro. I'm like, oh shit! Broke his orbital bone. Broke his you orbital bone. I'm like, oh it wasn't a bad fight because Billy Joe Saunders wasn't fighting a bad fight. It's just Canelo's that good, bro. Yeah, he's a great boxer too, but Canelo is just the goat right now, the greatest boxer right People now. People keep saying that the was that the Charles gonna like go sixty. People keep saying the Charlos got smoke from, but I'm like, I don't know if the Charlos are gonna see. They that. got some smoke, but they don't got real smoke from. It's gonna be, it's gonna be many fireworks though, but yeah. they're not being Canelo. I think they talking the about best, Jamal. They talking about the older one, Jamal Charlo. Yeah, they, I think they the both best there. fight for him would be against uh, what's uh, what's her <clears> name? That David Benavidez. I think him and Benavidez would be yeah, a yeah, the younger for, the younger brother. Yeah, the younger brother. Yeah, Benavidez is good. I, I agree. I agree with that. Benavid- but they saying that uh, Brody might go to cruiserweight. Oh yeah, he's trying to go to 175 right now. Some yeah, shit. I'm like, yo, Canelo out here trying. He to had one. He beat he beat Kovalev at 175. Even though man. people saying that wasn't Kovalev's prime, that was a great display man, of he, boxing that night for Canelo. That nigga out here trying to whoop everything. <clears throat> trying to, I'm like, yo, you trying yo, to whoop the heavyweight Canelo? Green gloves. Like you, you yo, he hit Kovalev, five, bro. Right? He hit Kovalev with a nice fucking shit to the rim to the. Mm. It's just the thing. I love when he does that, person, bro. Because people get so caught up with his stature. Like, is he tall enough? Can he put up enough weight? It's a lot of power 
in that man's hands. Either one of them hands. Bro. Same thing with what uh what uh what's Brody's name? Uh, we were just talk about uh, Javante the Tank. Yeah, it's a either hand. Cause remember the last fight. The reason I like the Tank fight so much, he broke his hand in the sixth round. Yeah, and he still won the fight. Like it got closer, mm-hmm. but people got to remember he was fighting with one hand. He wasn't even throwing the left. Yeah. That's a fact. So <coughs> but when he broke his hand though, that was a great display of defense by Cruz, though. Yeah, yeah. But what the fuck he did? He um, I think he bluffed him or some shit. Mm-hmm. He he jabbed him and bluffed him and made Tank throw the shit, and then he rolled and right Tank, right into yep, it. And Tank caught the top of his head, he broke yeah. his hand, boom. So it was that. But um, it was a lot of good fight fights this year, and that's boxing. UFC, very good fights this year as well. I, I didn't not, watch none, I'm, but I'm, yeah. I'm not yeah. into the UFC as much, but from what I did see with Francis Ngano, uh, what's other brother name? The, uh, the at middleweight? Usman. 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 Kamal Usman. Style Bender lost, but Style, Style Bender still one of those guys. Yeah, because he went them. up and weighed or some shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. He wasn't ready for that. That's why he lost. John, John, John Jones, I got nothing to say about you. Just get it together, my brother. I will never hey, say anything on, about Bony. John Jones. Because You're John legend. Jones can whoop anybody in the streets walking ass. That man never hey, won a fight. Not. I don't <laughs> got no smoke from Holmes Jones. <laughs> me neither. Um, That's dead over me, my boy. It was okay. for me, uh, the Sean Porter retirement was a little bit of a surprise, but not too much. But How you feel about his dad throwing in the towel? I think his, fa- I think his father did the right thing. I, initially, I didn't like it. But again, mm-hmm. who, know, who knows him as a fighter? The closest person that will know him as a fighter to himself would be his dad. He trained him his whole life. And mm-hmm. he he was saying when they was in camp, he didn't feel after the fight. He said he he don't feel Sean did everything he was supposed to do to be ready for that fight. He was he felt like he was taking some shortcuts. Sean was. What you, saying, mean, what you think he meant by that? Um, that he just you know like when you're younger as a fighter versus you get older. Like when you're younger, you really you probably putting in two three a days, um, lifting, swimming. Then you got a full day of sparring. He felt like he wasn't he wasn't completely dedicated to that process. And Sean Porter even I don't know if you've seen the Sean Porter podcast. Shout out to the podcast. It's a really dope podcast. I'm gonna say a couple episodes. Yeah, I've seen a few episodes, yeah. Um he just wasn't all the way into the process because he was kinda like which uh preserving his body because he's older now, so he don't he don't want to go in there with a little bit of wear and tear. Cause you know when you're younger, you got everybody got wear and tear going into a fight. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna get that broadcasting you. bread, like yeah. Timothy Bradley. Yeah, he, he's he's great at broadcasting. He was already yeah, dope at good. it as a fighter, so it's like He's into broadcasting, kind of like Conor McGregor is. Conor McGregor got a whole different bag. Uh, Marvin Hagler said it best. It's hard to wake up in the morning and run five miles when you just, when you woke up in silk pajamas. So I think he was kind of ready to transition into that. And Sean Porter, for a very long time, he was that gatekeeper at, at that at that division. If you wanted to get... I like him because he was a football <laughs> player too at mm-hmm. first. But again, like that... Next, uh, and he was a, he was a, he's a he's a gatekeeper. If you wanted to be one of the top, what's that? Welterweight class? Yeah. If you wanted to be one of the top welterweight uh, fighters in that division, weight class division for me, weight class, you had to go through Sean Porter. All of the champions were <coughs> Sean Porter. And he won some, he lost some, but Sean and he's a champion. We're not gonna like Sean Porter was a bum. He was a really good fucking fighter. So, Facts, but got bonus. him, but got him, but. In that fight, it was looking a little like, yo, bud, you might be losing a couple rounds, man. <laughs> yeah. Because Sean Porter was Point close. Was it was real on close. Him. And that's why Bud is so great, though, because when Bud knows that shit is close, he goes like this, look, that he he did a line of coke. And then he just go, he just go, he gets so surgical, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he, he knew <laughs> you had to put him down. He when did he, it at will and did it. Mm-hmm. Wow. When he I focuses, because you've seen when they was going into the 10th round, they got it. In, they got a coin. He said, "I'm down." He's like, "Yo, you yeah, go card." Oh, but he said, he's "Okay." Like, oh, what? Okay. And then you see him. Omaha, he, he, baby. He go in there, boom, do his thing. Then he switches. Boom, boom. Like his yeah, switching. He's so cool with the sound for. Oh my god. His switch. Go, uh, uh, his switch ability uh, again. My favorite fighter is Marvin Hagler. It's compared to Marvin Hagler. He said they, he's the be- he might even be a better switch hitter than Hagler. And Max Kellerman uh-huh. is saying this. You know, Max Kellerman uh-huh. and uh, Teddy he knows Atlas. His Teddy Atlas, they not just giving anybody their credit in this boxing shit. Nope. They they've been around for a long time. So shit, shit. It's anybody saying boxing is dead, you ain't watching the fights. You ain't watching them. A B A B got a couple wins this year too. Shout out to Adrian Brown. He talked about he want to fight one of the Paul brothers. A B, yeah. He, bro, he need to come back and get that bread. When A B is focused, he's one of the best. Tight, he could come and be a gatekeeper, bro. If he if he's a uh, fucking a good five, not nah, three years, yeah. three, four years. Keith Thurman. He'll be a gatekeeper. Keith, you know, Keith Thurman's Thurman. coming back this year. He fights in February. Fight. 
People were saying if they wanted to know if Andre Ward would come back to fight Canelo. I think Andre Ward. He said is, never. He said he's not fighting no more. He's, he's not. never coming back. Andre Ward a phenomenal yeah. fighter too, but he. he just oh don't. yeah. So he got hit a lot though. Mm -hmm. He used to get hit, but he used to like make those hits count. But he, he fought did, in a light heavyweight, and, and he didn't have the the, the crazy <coughs> reach for a light heavyweight fighter either. He was he was. He yeah, so he fought Kovalev too. He fought Kovalev twice. It was a classic fight. Tune into them shit. Andre Ward versus Kovalev. One. I was watching Andre Wolf fights earlier, bro. Um, PBC put out some good fights. <laughs> Triller put out some good fights. Shout out to Triller. Um, who else? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Bob Amen, whatever his name is. Bob Aram, Aram, top rank, Aram, top rank. Top rank, that's top rank. They put out some good fights. Oh, you. The Zone. The Zone. Talking about it. Shout out to Eddie Hearn. Talking about, talking about Bud. Bud is a free agent. Bud don't got no. Yeah, he know he's. He's no more with Bob Aram. He's no that more means he Bob could like. Aram. So he's yeah. a free agent. Do we get? Do we get? Errol Spence and Bud Crawford this year. I uh, willing. I think. I think Spence is gonna fight somebody else first. Though um, Uga. At some he's point, really this year, I'm not saying in the beginning, but at some point, be. Yeah, probably. If we lucky, probably on some Cinco de Mayo shit, bro. In May, because this is the beginning of the year. I think they're gonna fight like yeah. in February. Who who you got? No, 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 no. It's not gonna be that. That's too soon. Maybe like on some summertime shit, August. Who do you who do you got in uh, if we do get Bud and Spence? I got Bud, and I love Errol Spence. I got Bud too. I like Errol Spence, but I got Bud. I love Errol Spence, bro. That's a, that's another. Those are my two favorite southpaws in the game. Besides Shakur Stevenson, because I consider him like with the little young dogs. Like I talk about him with like you feel me, Javante and Devin Haney. You feel me? But like when it comes to like Errol Spence and them. Those are my two favorite south calls, bro. Crawl for the number. Bud yeah, got it in the bag, bro. Yeah, and I but think, I think Sha if we talk about ceilings wise, for because Shakur's so young. Shakur's about 21, 22. So you see, man. Baby. Shout um, out to Newark, bro. I fuck I call with him a baby I love New Jersey a, now. He's a grown man. <coughs> as far nah. as boxing age, he's very young in this country. He just had a baby, too. God bless him. Yeah. He's very young. Really really so with, with Shakur, I think Shakur might have the ceiling to be the best out of everybody that's like, active right now. Especially in that class. He's 24 years old. He's born 97. He's, he's young as fuck, bro. Tank is Shout like 26, 27. I think Devin Tank is like 20 this year. 26, Haney is like 24, too. 22, 23, 24. Yeah. And, and then you know him, Shakur and Haney <clears throat> have sparred before, so that would be a good fight as well. Yeah, Haney's 23. Yeah, I, I used to watch that in 2016 when they first dropped that. Shout out to Dante's Boxing Network. That's one of the littlest YouTube vlogs. Uh, that's yeah, the, I ain't it's lie. still up. That's one of the things Go. I've done this year, too. Uh, where, uh, I, follow, I follow a lot more boxing, bro. I follow a lot more. I, lo I love... I love boxing, I bro. love boxing, and it's not... You, you know what it is when you understand it. It's not the, the knockouts in the flash. It's it's the footwork. It's the angle. It's the ability to like it's you said, slips and counters slips, to to get in it to get into some of the action and then slide slide out to boom make a nigga miss boom and then you get a better shot. Take my favorite shit is defense. I love uh, good defense in boxing, bro. I don't even care about knockout. But I just love good defense when niggas know how to slip and roll and enter and block and went to block and me. A lot of the Love best defense. knockouts this year, right? Because uh, we got Tank, I think, is up there for a knockout of the year. Canelo is definitely up there for the knockout of the year. A lot of the best knockouts happen after making a great defensive move. Yep. When he, Counters. That's, when, that's when, what when he, when he Yeah, when he broke up, bro, Orbital was a counter. Because he was letting him get that off, and he, he, he timed it perfectly. He like, oh, I got it now. Boom. When, uh, when uh, uh, Tank caught Boy with the left hand, with his left uppercut. Counter. Count counter. So it's like we got boxing. Boxing's in the best space, man. I love, I love to see that. Another great knockout was when Jose Sabata, um, Sabata stopped Josu Vargas. Nigga knocked him out. That, I think that was off a counter, too. Um, and I'm sad because I was going for Vargas. And he's, he's Puerto Rican. You feel me? Not that that matters. I just worry about skills. I'm not racist like that, but. When it's a Puerto Rican fighter, nigga, I, I, I go for them. As a, as one of your fellow countrymen, it's, it's just what you, you feel do. Me? You go I go for them. Um, but if him similar to Cam, to to Tia Famo, just, another body boy, them niggas was sleeping, and I'm trying to show for people like you can't come out with your pub test. To, um, you know how in football it'd be like any given Sunday. Mm -hmm. Boxing is that times a hundred. You don't play boxing, bro. Yeah. You can really die if you if you lacking in that ring, bro. Absolutely. Like, and that's what happened. And we had the Hall of Fame this year, too. Some fighters went into the Hall of Fame. Talk about your Puerto Rican countrymen, man. 
Miguel Cotto. Cotto. Shout out to Miguel Cotto. Boxing Hall of Fame this year, Congratulations. man. That's major. Congratulations. That's Big major. I, I, I'm about to actually pull up everybody that came up. But uh, tell me, as because I know you watched Cotto for young till now. Feel me? Him and Tito. My favorite so, Cotto fight is... Shout out to Tito of uh, Trinidad, man. Tito was one of them guys, man. That's my favorite. And and shout out to shout out to Hector Macho Camacho, another mm-hmm. favorite boxer from the island. My favorite Cotto fight, though, bro. Is um, even though he lost him against Floyd, love that fight from mm-hmm. because what is my other another my other favorite boxer, but Cotto he was just great that night, bro. Like you feel me? Like he he made he made Floyd nose bleed. Like you feel me? Niggas don't be touching Floyd like that, bro. He touched him that night, mm-hmm. and then I was also grateful to just watch Floyd shake that off and just dominate. Like you feel me? Because it's boxing at the end of the day. I love to see it. Yeah. But like, so shout class, out to Cotto, he's a warrior. This class had uh, Roy Jones going, Miguel Cotto, Holly Holm. Cause it was a combination of twenty twenty class two, Vladimir Klitschko, Andre Ward. What's that Hall of Fame? Floyd Holly Holmes went to the Hall of Fame. For mm-hmm. MMA. Floyd Floyd Mayweather. Shout out to Holly uh, Layla Ali, Ann Wolf, Marion Tremar, Tremere, uh, Jackie Tawanda, and Dave Moore. Cutman. That's lit. Freddie Brown, physician doctor, Margaret Goodman, team manager Jackie McCoy, trainer manager, just a team manager, journalist George Kimball. And television executive Jay Larkin. So it's a lot of fucking legends that got into this shit this year, bro. It's a lot of fucking like again, and for for a person like Kodo, Kodo was a fu- we I know Kodo was a dope ass fighter, but people that don't that it's not may not be familiar with Miguel Kodo, he he went into the same class that was combined with Floyd Mayweather, Waymother, Floyd Mayweather. What the fuck I just said? <laughs> Vladimir, Vladimir Klitschko. Remember when Klitschko was running the motherfucking world at one point at the heavyweight division? Oh, uh, yeah. And he's and a Roy doctor. Shout out to that nigga. Roy Jones Jr. You hear the names you just named, bro? What a great company to be with him. Exactly. Man. Shout out to Kodo, bro. Absolutely. Kodo was fucking the Let best. Let me download these albums for tomorrow. Black album. I'm bumping these for tomorrow. Doom, and Mike Tyson podcast. Shout out to Mike Tyson podcast because that was the funniest shit I watched. Yeah, hot year. boxing. I love that shit, bro. I love that podcast. Yo, my favorite podcast right now, though. Outside of the Jungle Report, you feel me? Of course, bro, because that's uh, that's the best podcast. Uh, I said my favorite, not the best. <laughs> but the other cool niggas for me, I love the game. They cool too. I fuck with them. That's my favorite right now. Shout out to the OGs. Shout out to OG OG Gilly Wallow. You feel me? Fuck with them niggas. I don't like Adam Twenty Two, bro. Like his whole vibe, bro. <laughs> He's a weirdo. <laughs> I don't like Ooh, that. Shout out to Joe. He got good content on his shit, though, bro. Can't shout out to Joe Bunny Crazy. Ooh. Yeah, Joe, my guy, man. I'm yeah, 22. Shout, no jumper. Shout out to Rory and Maul for doing what they do, too. Like, I ain't even hear they. I never even tuned into one episode. I got to tune in. They got good content? Good facts yeah. on that? Academics or. Uh, shout out to Ash, I like man. academics a lot now. He got it. He, he oh, was posting a lot what's of the record. Shout out to academics, bro. <laughs> Great podcast. Great. Yo, that Fetty Wap interview, phenomenal, bro. Um. Yeah, oh, that made that made hour for game um, podcast episode with academics Let's was a great fuck. episode. Mm-hmm. <coughs> shout, out to, shout out to Big U with the check in podcast. Shout out to Big U. Um, shout out to the check in. <coughs> mm-hmm. Oh, all the smoke. I like them all niggas. The you put me on to them niggas. Uh, and Knuckleheads. The you know, I, I, fuck fuck. With, I fuck with Stevie Jackson and uh, and uh, and Matt Barnes, and I fuck with Knuckleheads because you know. That's uh, Darius Miles and Q Rich. Quentin Richardson I used to play on the Knicks. Quentin Richardson, Knicks, my guy. number 23. That's mm-hmm. my boy, yeah. Me and my son, he used to fuck with Q Rich with the half band. Where that's mm-hmm. my son. So, he used to make mad three-pointers that he just fucking stopped. That got me tight, though. I ain't gonna lie. They are trying to change the way he played. But, um... Oh, I ain't know that. that that's, yeah, yeah, that's, all we, that's all we got. This is a little bit bonus content. <coughs> Dot, Dot, please tell Damn, us what your 2022, team. like, goals or things that you're going to do. Not that you want to do that you're going to do. We talk. We, we talking positive affirmations. You didn't get your part in. Dot. Dot. Do you hear niggas? What is your <laughs> goals for twenty twenty two? What are you going to do? What do you want to do? That's what we talking about. Oh, um, fucking to be debt free. Amen. Facts. I. I want to take. I want to get a LLC of some kind. Start, start, become a business. I will. Yeah, I will. I will start an LLC in my own business. <clears throat> and uh, I want to get my own crib out here. I'll get my own apartment. I will get my sure, own apartment out. Get your own apartment. I told you, nigga, pull up to where I'm at, nigga. Over that way. 
shit or yeah. Not? I don't know. I think about it. You driving yeah, two three hours anyway. I need some shit too over there, bro. I want to. I want to live in Cali, bro. I don't live by the water though, but by Santa Monica, Cause... I know that's mad expensive. Especially because yeah, I, it's only like a, it's only like a, from Santa Monica to where I'm about to be like an hour, hour and thirty minutes, bro. You could drive. I could live yeah. there. Like you not, you really not that far though. I mean, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get out there, but you're not that far. But I, I'm, you know, you why I picked that area, bro, because it's right in the middle. So if I need to go right. to the bay and I need to do this proof, I need to go to Southern Cal. I could do that. So I picked that right. area right in the middle. You could, you could go, you could co- go and come back in a day. Mm-hmm. You could go do what you gotta do and come back in the day. And then I got family around, right. so so it's like I can always postpone. Yeah, stuff, so it's cool. but yeah, but it's just like you know, just just to be to have that access, that shit is baby. Mm-hmm. So that's really, but, that's really, that's really gonna be dope, and I look forward to that part. They out here got some cap going on in flight tonight because I'm not playing. I'm just letting the game run. They really got yeah. Victor Ortiz keep it up with Sugar Ray Leonard. That's cap. That is <laughs> bro. But um, oh, more goals. Yeah. I want to spend more time with my daughter. That's yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I like that. I don't spend enough time with her. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Now I ain't gonna lie. Um, all y'all niggas got daughters, man. But my, I'm talking to the homie class. Shout out to my boy Class Murder. He like, yeah, bro. The way women is today, man. I don't know, man. My my girl, my ha- my daughter might have to like be Brittany Griner. I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I fu- I respect it. He like, yeah, man, I ain't into city girls, man. I ain't like, I fuck with them, but nah. <clears throat> Son, because you know what? It's like, yo, would you rather have her be able to finesse a nigga or just or be, out get- or be out here? Or be out here on some, yo, like, nothing wrong with you ladies that want to get your butt done. But it's like, yo, shorty, you work at, like, Starbucks. What you got to get your body done for? That's not, a, that's not like, a, a smart investment. It's just not smart. Like, Fuck being like insecure. This is not smart. What are you doing that for? Dickhead. You getting your butt done, but your teeth still crooked, baby. Like what we doing? Are like, you stupid as fuck? <laughs> you should have paid to get them. And I see you. You, you don't look appealing. I just think of <laughs> you like you, you get them teeth fixed. You you can have a little butt, but hey, you, you cute with, with good teeth. Hey, I'm gonna holler at you better. More one. <laughs> like well, nah, shorties don't understand like the beautiful bodies. It's just so amazing. Like, you be getting, yeah, like, they be Gucci, man, and they just want to fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Like, like, Social oh, media man. disease, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what we got on the part on, on Jungle Report, man. We about to get off this motherfucker. We're going to talk our shit off camera, man. That's what we got to get for free. 